All right, it's the uh, it's Monday, the 11th of November, 2019. It's about uh, two o'clock in the afternoon. I've got the ET1 fired up on on 40 meters CW, and I'll just show you how it how it works. Uh, this is the transceiver made with just two transistors, one in the receiver, one in the transmitter. First, we'll get it going, then I'll tell you about it a little bit. I've got it hooked up to a microphone. The, the microphone is literally taped to one of the earphones that I'm using, old DLR World War II headphones. No additional amplification, so you'll hear exactly what it sounds like coming out of the receiver. First, I have to set the regeneration. And we're, we'll do this here. Um, I'll show you. The regeneration control is here. And I turn it over until I hear the band open up. There you go. All right, so now the regeneration control is set. And I can pretty much leave it here as I tune around this portion of the band. This is a kind of a, a broad band uh, tuning control that controls the big capacitor. And that puts me in different portions of the band. And then I have this very kind of fine-tuned control, just a variable cap with one vein. You can move it up and down about 12 kcs. And that lets me tune more easily to, to zero in on, on particular stations. But we'll, um, we'll tune around a little bit and let's see, let you see what you hear on a, on a regen powered by a 9-volt battery um, with one J310 uh, JFET uh, transistor. That's it. That's the only active device here. So here we go. Chester, Virginia. Knows Chester very well. Anyway, that's uh, that's how the receiver works. You can tell it's got real communications potential. It's very I'm surprised at how nicely it works. I, I, this thing is based on articles in Sprat, Sprat number one hundred eight, by um, uh, Glenn Yingling, W two UW, and later uh, in Sprat one thirty seven by Roger G three XBM. The receiver is a different kind of uh, regen receiver that I used, different from that originally laid out by uh, by uh, W2UW. This one is uh, designed by Doug N0WVA. Um, anyway, that's it. Uh, it. It's a real nice little rig. It's very simple, <laughs> real simple, minimalist. I've made 14 contacts with it so far. If you're looking for some more information, check out my, uh, my blog page, soldersmoke.blogspot.com. You'll find a whole lot more information there. Hey, thanks very much.